Good evening, everyone. Our winter storm combined with spring flooding have made roads treacherous in the area tonight. Going off the road can have dire consequences as ditches are filled with icy water. WDAY News reporter Matt Henson was there tonight as emergency crews rescued a baby and family from a flooded ditch. One of several rescues tonight on I-29 just north of Fargo. Yeah, certainly a dangerous night here on I-29. I'm just south of Gardner. As you can see, one car is sinking in the ditch here. And just as crews were finishing with this one, another car sunk heading northbound just a few feet away. The cry of a scared baby boy after the Gardner Fire Department rescued him from the family car after it slid off I-29 south of the Gardner exit and landed in a few feet of water. Mom and dad and the family dog also safe, but they were checked out after being in the cold water for nearly 15 minutes. It's a bad recipe right now. This is one of more than at least half a dozen cars to slide off I-29 north of Fargo today. That prompted Cass County Sheriff Jesse Jonner to move his department's two airboats to the northern portion of the county, with the roads only expected to get worse overnight. The sheriff said people need to be prepared if they head out, with water rising everywhere. That people are checking those road conditions and checking the areas where there could be potential flood type situations so that they know their route of travel, they're letting their loved ones know um, what they're gonna, you know, what they're gonna take. The sheriff calling the situation dynamic and warning drivers if a boat is needed that they may take a little longer to get to your car to rescue you. We don't know what, what's gonna happen. I mean, there could be it's going to depend on the current in the ditches. Is there a strong current in there? Is it just standing water? And then, you know, how, how deep is that water and how quickly is the vehicle filling with water? So there's a lot of dynamics to it, a lot of unpredictabilities. Typically, the advice if you go off the road and into a ditch, you're told to stay in your car until help arrives. It's totally the opposite if your car goes into a flooded ditch. They recommend that you get out of your car as fast as you can, if you can do it safely, and get to dry land. Reporting from Gardner, Matt Henson, WDOI News.